And this week is an exceptional week of really great stuff right before the holidays. Um, some great box Super Nintendo games, some Atari games, some loose Super Nintendo, some loose Nintendo. Uh, the last two weeks we have gotten in an absorbent amount of Nintendo and Super Nintendo games. Um, as many of the customers, as you guys know, uh, stuff has just been flying off the shelves. And another great batch came in. And I just wanted to share it with you guys and go over kind of uh, what came in really quick for this vlog. Um, since it's always fun to share it in video so you guys can actually see. So um, I'm just going to skip uh, this stack. It's a lot of fairly commons, but they're all in exceptional condition. Uh, box complete. So, I mean, there's Street Fighter 2 Turbo in here. I mean, that's not a common. Um, got a really pretty tournament jam, uh, an NBA tournament jam um, in great condition. Um, let's go over some of the loose, uh, some Super Nintendo loose. Uh, Final Fight, uh, Mortal Kombat, uh, Street Fighter 2, Super Bowling, <laughs> Out of This World, um, NFL, Ken Griffey, Super R-Type, Another Zelda, um, UN Squadron, uh, some of the better ones. Uh, got a real nice Mega Man X, just an exceptional label. Um, Act Riser 2, um, got a Lufia number 1, uh, a Soul Blazer, um, uh, Dragon View, which is actually a pretty tough to find uh, cart for Super Nintendo. And I'll get to that. I have the box for it over here um, in a second, and I'll talk a little bit about that box. Uh, I got a Lufia 2 also. I uh, got a Contra 3. And uh, King Arthur's uh, Knights of the Round. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, the Knights of Justice, um, since there's a difference there between those two titles. Um, so what happened was, uh, on this trade-in, we had some games come in without manuals um, in the boxes, and I didn't have any spare manuals. And uh, this kind of arise last week is we always try to make box completes um, on the website. So when they come in, we usually typically go search our overstock and our active uh, manuals, and we try to make these uh, complete in box, at least cart box manual um, to make them complete in box. And, um, and sometimes I miss some. I missed one last week, and uh, I had a couple customers ask why I was splitting up, you know, trying to make more money or something. Uh, that's never really the intention. Uh, is to not make something complete. Um, it just happens periodically. We'll end up with three different pieces of one um, over different periods they'll come in. So um, so empty boxes of Dragon View uh, and UN Squadron and Mortal Kombat. Um, just a relist of Centurion and Crew Ball for Genesis. Um, and then that King Author, I actually have the big uh, fold out poster for it that's pretty much like new also. Um, no, pretty pretty rare titles. It's too bad we didn't get the manual in for it. Um, let's see, some loose Nintendo, uh, Zelda, Galaga, Guardian Legend, uh, Castlevania 2 and 3, uh, Soda's Revenge, Snake's Revenge, uh, and as we all know, The Simpsons, Bart vs. Radioactive Man, it always has a, like a placked up label. I mean, I hardly ever get these games nice. Physical condition, there's no chips, tears, or anything. It just always has that plaque go through that paper label. I don't understand it always. Before I get into the boxed complete Super Nintendo games, which I'm just going to give everybody a real quick overview of them, I am going to be listing some actual Nintendo branded sleeves on the website. We got a big amount in, and I want to get those uh, up and active. Um, for my Atari collectors, I wanted to show something that that I really it excites me, and it's really kind of silly. Um, these are just M Network games, which we all know are pretty much junk. But they're fun, nice box complete games. What I really like about these is, and it's probably not going to show in this video, is uh, this is printed right here in white. And this is actually printed in silver, these lines. Uh, that designates the late release white one compared to the silver one. And um, what I mean by late release for a lot of people that aren't, this would be the real late release label. It's white in label on the cartridge and a printed uh, black and white kind of like a paper manual instead of the full color manual um, with all the other exciting parts to it. Um, I like them. They, I consider them the late release, um, let's see, uh, by Intellivision Inc. Of course, they're Atari 2600 games. Um, and it's just a kind of a fun variation to get that actually doesn't cost really any more um, for the variation. Uh, I got a factory sealed uh, skateboarding for the uh, Atari 2600, a factory sealed carnival that's in pretty nice shape. Akari Warriors, Xenophobe, Off the Wall. Those are some fun ones. Um, hiding up front is just some um, Xbox, uh, GameCube, uh, PS1, Princess Peach on DS. Uh, got a Turtles hiding here. 
everybody's wondering. Final Fantasy Advent Children, just that's a pack in I think that came with them. Uh, but let's talk about box completes. Some really great stuff. Secret of Evermore, um, pretty nice condition box uh, with the poster inside of it. Um, Super Metroid, this box uh, had some wear down here, a little press in to make it kind of come out a little bit right here. Um, but overall, this display is really nice still. This this is really jumped up in price, uh, loose and box complete, especially box complete. Uh, Final Fantasy Mystic Quest, uh, it has the the big map, the big fold-out map in it. That look, I mean, pretty much this box looks like looks like brand spanking new. This would be a great one to add to your collection now in that condition. And I think I have $59.95 on it. I think that price is in this condition is it will only go higher. And, and you should always try to buy the nicest stuff that you can find. Um, especially when you're buying box completes um, at, at a rate at a retail price you can buy a lower price typically you know when they're beat up and then hopefully for a box upgrade in the future um, and then always pay a, a premium for the premium stuff if um, if you feel like you're not going to find a better one sometimes it might be worth paying a little extra but I have this price to, uh, right at market price not even any higher really um, got a brain lord and uh, this is also another really nice one and this is also includes the poster for it and don't forget, all these will be um, later on, um, by the time this video is out, on TradingGames.com. Um, just look under the Super Nintendo Box Complete section. Uh, the picture that you see will be the actual picture of the item for sale. You know, um, if you're watching this, you guys, check out the website. We never do stock pictures. Um, maybe on some total generic accessories and stuff. But on these Box game, Complete games, you always get what you see in the picture. And if you ever see an error, let me know, too. Sometimes we actually grab the wrong picture and put it in. Uh, let's see, Secret of Mana, um, this also has the big fold-out poster, uh, pretty nice condition box, has a little bit of tear coming down the back side of the flap here, um, but it's really nice. Uh, Seventh Saga with poster, uh, Super Street Fighter 2, this would be about the poorest condition box that I have, considering how crisp it is and square still, it just looks like it had like weight on it off-center here with that tray and everything, it kind of, it's hard. I don't know if it's showing up in the video, just like a little dip, but it still displays really nice. Uh, Breath of Fire 2, um, this one, uh, another super small, not really a tear, just a little stress there. Um, this box displays really nice. Um, this has an okay poster card and card inside of it, uh, the two part. They, they were heavily used on this one. They had a show in the pictures. Uh, Robotrek, um, just a box cart manual. Uh, Breath of Fire number one. Um, I have this marked down. This one actually has a poor manual and a poor poster in it. And I had no spares. Um, so, th I mean, that, uh, but this box is also, this Breath of Fire number one box is exceptional. This one's in, in great condition. Um, and then last but not least, uh, really nice condition. Uh, Zelda Ocarina of Time, the collector's edition with this, the, the plasticky smooth top, the gold cart that's also in it. I don't know if everybody knows, but you should always open, when you hold these boxes, they typically, when they have the built-in tray, they open from this side um, in order to be able to, to remove the cart. Uh, but this would be the gold cart of Ocarina of Time, the first original release of it. Um, definitely a label variation, I think, uh, a collector of Nintendo 64 um, should go for either looser or box, whatever you're into. Um, it, it's just kind of a fun one, everybody always excited about Zelda. So I'm still working on those holiday hours, uh, I'm getting them posted. We have been so busy with all this great stuff coming in, uh, pricing it and getting it sorted and cleaned and tested. Uh, we do make sure the batteries work in every single one of these um, when they come in. We detail and make sure they look really nice. So I'll have those hours posted really soon uh, by, by this time next week. We are doing open on Thanksgiving Day, most likely at 9 o'clock in the morning. And uh, what I'll do is I'll take this camera over and I'll show everybody, uh, I'll go to drive, you know, go to the store. And I'm going to show a real quick glimpse of all the empty system boxes we're going to have and some box complete systems we're going to have for the for that day, that special day. And I think I'm going to dig into some of my B-grade uh, Nintendo and, well, mainly Super Nintendo and Nintendo 64 boxes I've been sitting on for years. Uh, not because I've been hoarding them or anything, but because they're just B-grade, uh, maybe not quite, quite worthy. And we're going to have them out just for everybody to pick through and uh, make some offers really on them and uh, get some into some people's hands uh, so they can fill in some gaps in their collection and maybe wait for box upgrades in the future like I was just talking about a minute ago. So I uh, hope this isn't uh, too lengthy and I hope you enjoyed looking at all these and they'll all be on the website real soon. And uh, continue with those, um, those likes and hit that subscribe button uh, to Trading Games and we will keep bringing you some fun videos and we're working on our next kiosk videos all the time. Uh, see you all soon. 
Just some television, some Wii, different Wii ones, PlayStation 2, PS3, little slim PS2s, some Xbox, Nintendo, PS4, 360, PS3. I think I'm actually going to put that out for sale. And a bunch of B-grade boxes hiding down here and there. And here. And some more surprises. Stay tuned.